What's up, Tech Kings? Stefan here from TechRite. I think we have some bad news for the Moto G Stylus. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day. Hopefully everyone is safe. Uh, but as you guys can see, this is from Tech Radar. So a huge shout out to Tech Radar. We actually just got the leak specifications for the Moto G Stylus 2022 today from XDA developers. So a huge shout out to them as well. But as you guys can see, it says Moto G Stylus 2022 specs leak out and it might run an older version of Android. So it says over the last couple of years, the Moto G Stylus has been the phone to go to if you're after a cheap Android handset with the stylus attached. And thanks to new spec leak, we know quite a bit more about the 2022 edition of the smartphone as per sources in contact with XDA developers the phone is going to come with a 6.7 inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 2460 by 1080p and a refresh rate of 90 hertz so that is that is good I'm liking that we are seeing higher refresh rates on budget phones I believe the last video I did for the Moto G Stylus 2022 they didn't say anything about this because they weren't 100% like leaked they are just kind of rumored but it also says the screen is just a touch smaller than its predecessor uh, but Lenovo has managed to pack a few more pixels in this time it says under the hood there will be apparently the reasonably capable MediaTek Helio G85 chipset. Um, I don't think I've ever worked with a G85 but we're definitely gonna have to pick up this phone and see how that runs. Paired with either 4 gigabytes or 6 gigabytes of RAM the phone is reportedly going to come with 128 gigabytes of internal storage. Not too bad right there with uh, support for extra storage added via memory card so that's nice to see it also says around the back of moto g stylus 2022 there will be a triple lens 50 megapixel 8 megapixel and 2 megapixel camera so that's actually going to give us ultra wide capabilities and we also have a single lens 16 megapixel camera on the front facing camera it also says the battery reportedly has a capacity of 5000 milliamps and supports 10 watt charging uh that's pretty slow charging especially from Motorola. i've seen a lot quicker charging on much older phones which is kind of disappointing but this is about 500 milliamps more than i thought they were going to put in here and this is the big part that i want to talk about with you guys because i'm not sure how you guys feel about this definitely leave it in the comment section down below but as you guys see it says the rumor is that the phone will come with android 11 launched in 2020 and will only be given one major version upgrade to android 12 so honestly that kind of sucks especially if they're going to be selling the unlocked version at like four hundred dollars i wouldn't want just one upgrade that's that's kind of disappointing to be quite honest and if this is the only upgrade that we're going to get it's probably going to happen in the middle of this year and then after that we're not going to get anything else so this phone is going to be good for maybe a couple years but as you guys know android 11 release date was september 8th 2020 and we're still on android 11 in 2022 and i've really been noticing this uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you've noticed this as well but i've noticed this on a lot of budget phones and mid-range phones releasing and they're not releasing with android 12. i do not know why they're doing this uh, maybe someone can educate me in the comment section down below this this kind of sucks though to be quite honest so Definitely give me your opinions in the comments section down below, but this looks like it's going to be releasing with Android 11. We have some other information down there, but I'll go ahead and link this article if you guys want to go ahead and check it out on your own time. But yeah, guys, hopefully you were informed with this video. Um, if you did enjoy it, please leave a like down below as well. Subscribing if you are not part of the teching already. Also hit the notification bell to be notified every time I do upload a new video. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, teching.